Yeah, Chris, these lights you see behind me are 7118 West Cook Road. I was actually here last night when police officers and cars were lining the streets. The air felt heavy as law enforcement officers worked to piece together exactly what happened here. A tragedy, four people killed, parents, two children shot to death. Suffering the loss of family or friends can be hard, especially when taken suddenly. Everyone heals in their own way, in their own time, and it's important that people recognize where they're at in that process and make sure that they're getting what they need. The Allen County Sheriff's Office says 20-year-old Samuel Mason Long shot and killed his parents, Mark and Lisa, sister Mahala, and eventually himself last night. In the wake of their deaths, Jennifer Rolfe with WCA says talking to a counselor or confiding in a loved one can help. I think people assume that healing has to happen uh, quickly and on a certain timeline, but that's not the way that people work. We all are different in how we're going to handle a situation. Checking in with your mental health is not only important to family and friends, but also first responders who show up to crime scenes. It's important to recognize the trauma of what they've just been through, to grieve it, to allow yourself some time to feel the difficult, uncomfortable feelings, um, to process through those in a healthy manner. Corporal Ingrid Harriet says law enforcement officers can do that by being there for one another. And now I'm not so angry. Now I'm not going to sit here and dwell on that. Now I can move on to the next call because that next call isn't going to wait for us to feel better. Rolf says you should never feel like you have nowhere to turn. Uh, we do have a walk-in clinic um, within our community through uh, Parkview and Park Center that people can access if they are in crisis and need immediate mental health support. Uh, there are also a variety of hotlines that people can call to have someone to talk to. And and there's lots of counseling agencies around the community too. If you or someone you love needs these services, we'll have a link to those resources on our website at WFFT.com. Reporting live on West Cook Road, I'm Nico Panisi, Fox 55 News.